Hey guys, what's up? So in my last video I did an unboxing or an unpacking of all that stuff from AliExpress and we said we were going to check out the NES Classic Mini in that video but it just got a little too long and I decided to make a separate video for the gameplay on this. So we're going to test it for the first time together in this video and we're going to test this 2.4 gigahertz controller as well and see if everything works. So I have everything unboxed. If you want to see the unboxing, check out the previous video and there's timestamps in there for that. And you can see the uh, the manual and all that. We have it right here. It's a big poster on one side and a manual on the other. I'm going to save the time in this video and let you check it out in the other one if you're interested in that. For today, we're just going to try to see the, the UI, test a couple games, see how it works, see how close it is to the original. And you guys can let me know, those of you who have experience with the original, because I never have played with one or used one. This has a little little rattle going on inside. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm guessing it's some jank wires or however <laughs> it's set up on the inside. It makes me curious to potentially open it up, but we'll see about that. It looks pretty authentic. The, the controller it came with, as you'll see in the previous video, doesn't have a pivot, unfortunately, on the D-pad. And the colors are a little bit off on it. And they're kind of off on this one too, but this one does have a nice pivot. And I'm actually glad I got it. It's kind of cool with the, the BA button. And then you, you can choose which button you want to be turbo. You can have that be B or A. And the buttons are really snappy. Check my other video if you want to see a closer inspection on these controllers and stuff. So for right now, let me move this aside, get the monitor out, and hopefully get this thing set up. Just like we did with the SNES Mini. If anybody's interested in that, check that out. It's a couple videos back. Same concept, different uh, mini console. This, uh, this thing's sticking to the case. Let's set that there. Try to get this right here where we, as far over as we can without too much glare. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, oh, come off the stand. Let's, let's do that right there. Okay, so I'll probably try to put the Nintendo in, in the image. Somehow. What we're going to do is we're going to hook this up all um, portable so we're gonna use a I have I have two anchor power banks here I'm gonna try to just do it with one but we'll see I got another one in this case here so I'm gonna move this stuff aside really quick and just try to get it set up so it's powered by micro USB so that should be fine from an anchor power bank this is a 45 watt output power bank and 20,000 million 20 yeah 20,000 milliamp hour I think it's full. Is it full? Yeah, it's full. Okay, so I'm just setting that off to the side off camera. I'm going to plug the power in. Is that right? Sometimes they're upside down. It's a little bit of a tight fit. I guess that's just how it is with that micro USB. So we have the HDMI out here, and I have an HDMI mini adapter for my monitor. So. Let's set this down for a second here. And this is the cable that came with the system, so I decided to use this one this time just to test it and make sure that the cable works instead of using one of my own that I already know works. So feel free to skip past this stuff. If you guys just want to see the gameplay, I'll put timestamps in. Check the timeline down below. Just figured I'd do the whole thing, the whole setup for those of you who want to see it. Some people are into that stuff. All right, so here's the full size end that we're gonna put in here. Okay, and let's see if I could just get this Nintendo situated right there. And then we have our other full size end that we are going to put the adapter on. Normally I use like a L-shaped adapter, but I figured with this setup here, the way that uh, the monitor is laying flat, probably be better to use this one so that's what I'm doing here so we got the HDMI I'm gonna plug that in and then we need to power you know what I'll power the I'm gonna power the monitor with uh, actually you know what I will pow power it from the left because we do have that option I'm just gonna use this Nintendo Pro Controller uh, cable it should work just fine oh excuse me and so this monitor has a USB-C port on both sides. The um, the one on the left can be powered 
used for power or um, video input. And the one on the right is only for power, but it should be fine having the one on the left. And I like actually just using the ones on the left because there's the, um, the little knob or whatever you call it, the rocker thing on this side that you kind of lose a little bit of access to when you have things plugged in over there. So now I want to see if my monitor is getting power. It is. Okay. Before I turn on the Nintendo Mini, let's plug in a controller. We're going to start with the one it came with, even though I'm more interested in the other one because this one doesn't have that pivot, but this is the one it came with, so let's check it out. I do have some extension cables here. I got one like three foot one and one six foot one. We'll see if uh, we get around to testing any of that in this video. So that's going to go in there, just like that. All right, so we should be good. I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. It's lit up. Come on, baby. Are we working? Nothing's happening. Last time I had a press reset on the SNES. Let's see what happens here. There we go. What? Look at that. We got the Mario music in the background. Let's see if I can make my um, monitor a little bit brighter here. So, one second. Do, 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 do. We'll just uh, yeah, my brain up higher. It it wants to stay lower when you plug it into a battery versus um like a wall outlet. All right, so there we are. I'm gonna tell you right now, it looks blurry to me. That that UI, it looks nice. It looks cool. You know, it's widescreen, but I'm sure we have our display like four by three CRT and pixel perfect or integer scaling up there, but. So first thing I'm gonna do is like, I guess I'll go up to the top and we'll check these tabs first. And then from there we'll, we'll I'm sure everything is very similar to SNES where you press down to save your game. And we'll just check out a couple games. I'm not gonna put my computer, I mean my monitor to four by three this time since we're gonna have it right here. So pixel perfect. Oh man, did I just spit on my screen? Uh, I wiped it off with my finger, yep. Yeah. So last time I did P Pixel Perfect and it left a little bit of an empty bar on the bottom. So we're gonna try four by three this time and see if it fills the top and the bottom of the screen. And um, if not, then I'll go back to Pixel Perfect since why not? Settings, demo, auto shutdown, screen burning, reset to factory settings, languages, here's our languages, our legal notices. This one's different. The last one had just a bunch of text on there. And the other one had a QR code here for manual, so I'm not sure. They just kind of left that stuff empty on here. So how many games do we have here? It said 30. So where are we? I see that little arrow. Let's move all the way over to the beginning here. So we're start, starting with Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Bros, Mega Man 2, oh yeah, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out, Star Tropics, Super C, Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 2, Mario Brothers 3, Tecmo Bowl, Zelda, and The Adventures of Link. Yeah. All right, so where do we start? Let's just, you know, let's just go tried and true. We're already listening to the music. I'm going all the way through. So look at that, it's four by three like it should be. The controller doesn't feel bad, like I was saying. I think this, this pivot issue ends up being more of an issue on like more modern games, I think. Oh, this is Mario and Duck Hunt, okay. We're not gonna be able to play Duck Hunt on here. But um, after I test a couple games with this controller and just see if this D-pad is serviceable, then I'm gonna swap it out and try to hook up this one. So let's just start a, a game of Mario Bros here. And let's try to get, this, let's get the wires out of the way a little bit. And uh, let's just press start. You never want to get killed by the first Goomba when you're... Yeah, you know. It's been a while since I've played Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers. 
Let's just get to the end of the first level. Or you know what? Let's let's. I want to do my the the little shortcut on the on the dungeon because it's gonna bring me some nostalgia. So we'll 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 go that far until we get to the warp pipes. Oh man, no perfect for me. Just what I needed. D-pad works fine for platformers. All right, let's see if I, I'm, I'm very bad at getting the top of the flag here. See? The D-pad didn't want to work very good there. It got like stuck. Yeah, that was bad. Let's see if I get any fireworks. I think it's pretty cool, guys. Looks good, plays good, sounds good. I'm not seeing any screen tearing. Let me know if you are. And I'm noticing that this 4x3 is still leaving a little bar at the bottom and, um, and the top of the screen, so I'm not sure if integer, integer, integer scaling or pixel perfect will give us a sharper image. We'll, we'll test that when we back out of this uh, level. You know, I don't need to be getting all the coins. And I know that that brick right there has a bunch of coins. I'm not going to bother. This is all I want to do. All right, run Mario. This music is so nostalgic, I mean, iconic. Which one should we go to? Let's just, yeah, this D-pad is, I didn't even mean to go down right there. This D-pad sucks. This D-pad sucks. I pressed left when I'm press, at, right after pressing right and he, he like gets stuck. So, yeah, the pivot does matter. I said it didn't, but it does. Yeah, that sucks. It's unfortunate. But, you know, at least you can get controllers that work for this with no problem. Yeah, right there. I mean, there's you don't have that left and right control that you normally should with a, damn, with a, a proper pivot on the D-pad. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's it. Let's press reset. See if it goes to save states. All right, there it is right there. Let's press down. All right, now down again, is it? Or A, press A, all right. And then we lock it by pressing down. Not that I should be saving this game, but let's just do it anyway. All right, back. So we're out of there. Let's go back up to display and let's put this on pixel perfect. Back out of here. And I think now we'll, let's just test a Super Mario Brothers 3 level. See how it looks. Ooh, it does look a little crisper, I think. It's a little bit of a smaller image, as you can see. That actually looks smashed. Am I tripping? It, that that doesn't look that doesn't look right. That's weird. Um, you know what? Let me go back out. That looks square. I mean, or almost like Game Boy style, ten by nine. I just want to go back in display and put it back to four by three. Or, you know what, let's check CRT filter. I think it's gonna be widescreen though, unfortunately. So, let's see. Yeah, it's widescreen. All right, so, no, we don't want widescreen. So, we're going back to um, four by three, yeah, that's right. So, what did I do? Yeah, that's what I did. So four by three, does it look the same? Like dimensioned, I th is it a little bit wider? Yeah, it looks a little wider. I, I'm gonna have to go back and play the video to see it for myself. I'm not sure if I'm just looking at it from a weird angle right now, but is that four by three? But it is pixel perfect, so it does look like the pixels are a little bit sharper. Man, I, you know, this, this D-pad is terrible. Oh my God, it gets stuck in uh, like the, the right position. So you know what I'm gonna do? Let's just get through this level and then I'm gonna change the controller out. So that's that's something good to know for anybody that does decide to get this. It might be worth getting, but the D-pad sucks. All right, 
forget what to do here. I know I can fly. Man, that D-pad is bad. See, he keeps like going the wrong way after you already like press the controller the other direction. It's just not a good, not a good Mario controller. Oh, come on, dude. So I'm hoping that other controller it has turbo too, so it make it would make flying easier. Let's see if we can get all the way across the level. There we are. Come on down. It's been so long since I played these games. I'm digging it. Yeah, you always get the star right there if you can get your full speed up. All right, so there we are, Super Mario 3. We're gonna take this remote control or controller off and try the other one now. So let's press reset here. Go ahead and save the state. Down A. Wow, it locked it on its own on that one. Interesting. Okay, so keep it locked. All right, let's 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 take this out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if um, this wireless controller is gonna work. It's a bootleg or a knockoff Nintendo controller, but it's supposed to work on the official mini, so let's hope it works on this one. I'm gonna stick that in there. I charged this last night too, so hopefully it should work. I guess we'll just try pressing start. I'm holding start, there we go, there's a light. Are we in? No, we're not in, come on. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Let's take a look at this really quick. Here's our manual for it. Plug the Wii receiver into the console. Long press the controller start key three seconds to boot, then connect light flashes and keep bright until connect with the receiver. Shut down is press select start key five seconds off simultaneously. Press the reset button is also off. I don't see a reset button. Maybe it's like one of those embedded ones. Direction, select, start, B, A, keys are used as the same as the original. Oh, we know this stuff, but what's going on? Why isn't it connecting? All right, so this thing is, is lit, but let's try turning this thing off again. We got it. All right, I'm just gonna hold this for five seconds. I might have to just go back to the jank controller. I should just put a, put a D-pad in there with a proper pivot. That would solve everything. But um, let's try this one more time. So this thing is blinking right here. Like as if it's trying to trying to receive something. So again, it says to press the long start start for three seconds. Okay, and keep right, and it should just stay. It should connect. This one is solid here. I'm gonna try pulling this out again. It it's solid now. It, it like stays solid for a second, and then it, I think it's just like cycling. Yeah, it, it blinks, then it goes solid. Then it blinks. That's unfortunate. I have a feeling I'm gonna get it to work, but right now it's it's being um it's being fussy. I was kind of relieved to hear that music toned down for a second. All right, so that's a fail. That's unfortunate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mod that other controller and I'm gonna put a, a D-pad with a proper pivot in it. For now, we're gonna have to deal with a uh, screwed up D-pad and we're just gonna go back to the other remote or the other controller. It is what it is. We live and we learn. That was eight bucks wasted, but that's okay. If I have to, I'll just take the, the D-pad out of here and put it in here. All right, so we're back in here. What do we wanna check now? So I think punch out, let's do some punch out. Too bad we don't have um, Mike Tyson, you know? It's just not the same. Look at this thing, guys. It's so freaking cool. So the original one, I think you could probably find them like used or maybe if they're sealed, they're gonna be really expensive. But even used, it's they're over a hundred bucks, I'm sure. This was 40 bucks or like 48 shipped, I think it was. I could probably get it for a little bit cheaper, like a $2 coupon code or something. Um, so feel free if anybody's interested to ask and I'll see if the seller can um, hook up any kind of coupons on AliExpress. 
All right, Glass Joe, last time we fought Gabby J. So, they have the same fighting style. Come on, fight, fight. Talking like Rocky Balboa. All right, buddy. Let's do two rounds of punch out. I mean, yeah. Let's get a, a, a fighter that actually throws some relatively realistic punches. This guy's just a joke, even though I got hit by him. Come on, dude, throw a punch. Oh, dude, yeah, I tell him to throw a punch and then he hits me. Now I don't have my star. I want to knock him out with a star. There it is. Two of them. Come on, swing. Oh, I pressed star after I knocked him out. Is that two or three knockdowns? Knockdowns. All right, buddy. It's going to be a KO for you. Well, maybe not. Oh, he got me. If I if I don't, wow. I come on. No, I didn't beat Glass Joe in the first round. <laughs> At least I don't have the black guy. He hurt me, Doc. So here's where you press select to get a little power back. Did it work? No, I I waited too long. You hold select and um. In between rounds, you get one option to get some power back. I like how they fall to the right, how they zigzag. Man, I'm struggling against Glass Joe. That's not, I'm rusty. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to go directly to Mr. Dream after this. If I could remember the... <clears throat> Remember the code, 0073735963. So, we're going to try that. He's probably going to knock me out right away. I used to be able to beat him, or Tyson, you know, but that takes practice, dodging those uppercuts. All right, so, let me reset. No, I don't want to save it, so, no. I want to just punch out. Let's start again. Now we're going to put the code in. Oh, oh, nine, eight, seven, one, two, three, nine, eight, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, nine, nine, eight, seven, six. Whoops. Oh, man. Oh, oh, nine, eight, seven, one, two, three, nine, eight, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, nine, nine, eight, seven, six, one, two, three. Boom. Man, Tyson is about to fight Jake Paul. Does anybody know about that? Let me know what your thoughts are on that. <laughs> oh boy. Look at that, that's still Tyson. He's just got the vertiligo or whatever. All right, buddy. Oh man. All right, so I don't have turbo on this. You know, when I was younger, I thought you had to press B and A to get up. But you, you, I think you only have to press, I'm gonna try just pressing B. You know what, I think B and A makes it a little bit easier. Come on, let me get one hit on him. We're gonna try this again. Knockout. <laughs> Let's do one more. Let me get one hit on him, Mr. Dream. It's always so frustrating when you have to wait, like the old school Nintendo games. Especially like this. You just even this 15 seconds is frustrating when you just want to get into another game. So 
I don't know if this thing can be hacked or modded. Um, I was told with the SNES one that you can add games, but it changes kind of the what's going on. It, I think, you know, because these are bootleg, they're done in a different way. So you could probably open it up and there's going to be like an SD card in there and you could add games. But the seller said something about losing all the games that it originally comes with when you add games. You could probably easily add those games directly back into it along with others, but it's probably going to have like a different look or layout. Or work, or work differently. Damn, man, I just don't have the timing down for this. Going from losing the Glass Joe to fighting Tyson. There we go. Oh, man. At least I got a hidden. That's what I wanted to at least punch him once. That's right, Tyson. Damn. All right. <laughs> That was fun. I thought I had one more. All right, so let's reset that. We're not gonna save that. Okay, so what else do we have? So I guess that thing just floats there till you till you choose something else. I'm not gonna try any of these games that, that take super long. We're just gonna see they're all here. Let's 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 check um let's let's check Excite Bike. I think when I was younger, I didn't even realize that you can accelerate and like speed up in this game i think it, it took that temperature thing i didn't i didn't acknowledge those things when i was a little kid knowing that like once you get in too hot you gotta let let down on the throttle i used to always just try my hardest to land the jumps like <laughs> better than that but you know smoothly yeah Like that. Those are some clean jumps. Ooh. I just want to get to the point where I do my wheelie. That wasn't a good landing. Where was that? Oh, bummer. I can't do anything perfect on this this one. I think on the, I think on Street Fighter on SNES I got a, at least one perfect round. But Nintendo's different for me. Nintendo's more challenging, you know. The older systems, they, they were not as easy to beat the games and do well on the games. There we are. All right. <laughs> Excite Bike. Everything, I think everything's going to work perfectly fine on here as far as the games that are included. They look good. They play good. Let's, uh, man, I used to, this game, Kid Icarus, I beat that when I was a little kid because I, I would play it with my, my mom and her boyfriend. And um, he was like 35 at the time, and um, we would play this. I was probably, geez, six years old. And um, I remember fighting Medusa at the end, that, that last stage. Let's check out our little, little Mega Man too. There's a lot of nostalgia in Kid Icarus, but I don't really like replaying that game. It's just, a, it's a, it's just kind of tedious. So let's just, um, who do we want to start with? Quick man, because we're going to be quick. Yeah, it would have been nice to use the wireless controller for this. Man, all these games have been so long. How do you get that one? You have to come, oh, you have to have one of the special abilities from one of the other bosses. That was what's so cool about this game. You know, it was like ahead of its time. I was never a big fan of the, the the blind drops like that. See, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> it's been so long. How you jump down and then you gotta wait for the screen to transition. But hey, that's Mega Man 2. One of the best platformer running gun type games ever made. You could choose the bosses and the levels you wanna play first and strategize that way so that you know, oh, come on. Yeah, you gotta figure out which levels are the ones to do first in order to beat the bosses. And I think that was one of the things like, you know, lazy gamers don't wanna do. Oh man, I went down the wrong way. Are we already at the boss now, okay? Dude. Come on, give me some. 
This D-pad is not good. We're gonna have to find a, yeah, I'm just gonna, the solution is either just getting another one or swapping out the D-pad itself because all it is is the fact that they failed to, to include one with the pivot, which is really stupid. I mean, come on, they should know better. But you know, it's a knockoff, so. Yup, that's Mega Man. You saw me blow up twice now, that's good. Let's get out of there. Metroid, Metroid's gonna take some time. Pac-Man. Super C, let's check it. You know, I'm not even, um, I'm not sure if I've ever even beat Super C. It's been so long since I played this one. Um, the regular Contra, yeah, that I know. And that would, been, that would have been one to test this D-pad on, but unfortunately, I don't think Super C is, um, oh, I paused it. It's, it doesn't have the same, well, it kind of does, I guess, yeah. So, see, when I press down, he already, he already wants to run to the right. Look at that. That's, that's not good. It's, it's terrible. Can you run and shoot diagonal? Yeah, I guess to some extent. Yeah, look, I'm trying to run and it won't let me run. I'm like getting stuck. It's not it's not the game, it's it's the controller. So yeah. Ah dude, that was a slip. Dude, this broken ass D-pad. And I'm, I'm cartwheeling over these guys. Shit. All right, Super C, there we are. Just getting a little taste of things here. Um, let's just do one last, let's just check Dr. Mario. That's one I think this deep head should be fine for. And I'm colorblind, so this one, <laughs> it's better on Game Boy for me, the original Game Boy. You know what I mean? Okay, what am I doing here? Ooh, what am I doing? So yeah, this is one I like, but I can't say I'm very good at. Where do I want this to go? I'm gonna squeeze that one in right there. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. I wanted it in there. There we go. That worked. That worked. Double. All right, flip that one over. There we go. Just put that there. All right, we're, we're done with this level. We'll do one more level. We'll attempt to. Okay, where do I want that to go? Let's just bring that one all the way down. And let's do the same with this one. And this one. Oh, I forgot to flip it. Dummy, dummy. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, I'm done. Okay. Let's just get that down. Okay, what do we want here? Yeah, my reflexes are not the best. Yeah, the D-pad works fine for this. Obviously, it's just up, down, left, right. I don't want that, I don't want that. Let's put, oh, wrong spot. That's what we want right there. And this, let's just slip that in there. Or well, that's not really where I wanted it, but let's get rid of these germs. Yeah. Okay, so. We need to clear out. What is that, green? We need to clear out. Or is that yellow? <laughs> uh, the life of a colorblind person. Oh, that'll be four right there. Got it. Oh, there's one red one over there. See? Red is my hardest color to see. So they're, they, they're invisible in my peripheral, almost. As you can probably understand why the the DMG Game Boy, Dr. Mario's, is the best one for me. Just straight up shades. I like that about modern video games these days, usually they have some kind of option for colorblind people, but actually every single one of those different, there's like three different, dude, I don't even remember the names of them, but the different types of colorblindness that people have. A lot of the modern games give you an option to adjust the game for it, but whenever I do, it just makes it way worse than it is without it. So I never end up, I never end up, uh, applying any of those colorblind filters. They're just, 
they take it too far. They like, man, it makes me realize that it's really hard for people to understand what a colorblind person is actually seeing. And it's all, everybody's different, you know, they, they, you know, we see things differently. So it's, it's hard to, you know, those glasses that came out a while back, that was all a gimmick. I, I, it's just something you have to live with. Let's try a little Pac-Man here and then maybe a quick Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and, and then we'll probably call it on that, on this guys. I was hoping that that wireless controller would work. That's a bummer. So Pac-Man should be one where the D-pad would matter. Yeah, see, I'm getting stuck in the corner. It's like I gotta lift my thumb up before I make each turn. Cause you wanna, you're supposed to like press to the direction you wanna turn before you actually reach the turn to, to get a little quicker momentum. Let's just finish one level. Miss Pac-Man. Oh, you see that? I pressed up and he went to the left. She went to the left. What are you gonna do? Oh, again! It's like a glitch. That's ridiculous. I hope my, my yeah, you can see in the, in the uh, video. I, I was pressing up. I mean, I'm pretty sure I was. Let's try again. Oh, well, we got it that time. Am I going to make it through the level? Oh, my last man. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! That's sad. All right. Let's get out of there. And a little Ninja Gaiden. This is a tough game, but it's a badass game. It's a good game. And it's another one that this d pads probably going to be a little bit not too friendly with. A little loading time on that one. Check out this intro, a little semi-parallax. Man, this brings back memories. It won't even let me skip it. So yeah, it's, that's, that's old school Nintendo for you right there. Which one of these colors looks more appropriate to you? The, the one with the gray or the one with that like off looking beige or whatever, what would you call that? It looks like almost like the color of a faded or a yellowed Nintendo controller in my opinion, but I'm not sure. I really want to get this one to work. I like the idea of having a, a BA button and these buttons just feel really punchy and snappy. The D-pad feels good. It's frustrating. Dude, this whole, I didn't, I didn't read the story and I don't remember it. Can we just get on with it? Or you, be always brave. Should we test some Bimmy and Jimmy on Double Dragon 2? No, I think we'll just, um, We'll probably end it with this. I'll just try one level here. Geez, that was a slow intro. Maybe that's probably why it's it's not working. The start button's not working. Oh, it, it's just, yeah, this thing is just, it's not working. It's literally not. Okay, so Ninja Gaiden isn't working unless the, the controller is janking out somehow. Let's see if the controller works in another game with the start button because it's working here. That was weird, so I couldn't get into the game. Interesting. Okay. Um, start key isn't working. Look at that. What do you know? We got a problem. Let's try pulling this out and putting it back in. Nope. Look at that. We Our controller broke in the middle of this session. That is strange. Maybe if I power off the console and power it back on, it'll work, but just out of nowhere, the start button just, just died on me. All right here, just start, start works when you press it in the menu. All right, I'm gonna try, res I'm gonna try turning the system off and turning it back on. See if there's like a glitch. It's a bootleg. 
You should expect something to not work properly. We already have a bad D-pad. Come on, start up. All right, is it gonna be always like press reset at the beginning every time you start it up? It looks like it. All right, so we're back in. Which one did I, which, where, where was I that I pressed start and it didn't work first? Castlevania, let's just do that one. Start worked right there, press start. Oh wait, I wanna, I wanna go back out because I don't like the widescreen. Jeez. Sorry guys. Up, display, pixel perfect. All right, there we go, that looks better. And the star key worked. Okay, so it just needed to be restarted. That's a little bit weird. Um, yeah, oh, that's right. The Pixel Perfect is not, that's like Game Boy, like, scaling. I don't understand what, they, they messed up on this one. This one isn't done as well as the SNES one. So we're going to go back to 4x3 and go back in. Yeah, that looks better. So the star key works now. It just needed to be restarted for whatever reason. I can't tell you other than the fact that not legit. Belmont. Have any have any of you guys played any of the Bloodstain, like Curse of the Moon, those indie games? I started playing it and I'm loving it. It's taken a little getting used to because it's real similar to Castlevania in the regard that the the controls are really tight. They're, I mean, um, yeah, tight. Like they're not. Like that, like you're trying to get that candle up there and you got to be really, really like accurate with your jumps. What was it that I did to throw? Oh, press up to throw the, the um, knives. Yeah, you gotta, be, you gotta be precise. Old school Castlevania. With these stairs, let's see how the D-pad works with these. Oh, it worked. Wow, he jumped right over me. That was, that was my bad. I forgot about him. Oh, damn. Come on. Damn. You tricked me. Jumping over you. Not in it for the long run. So I'm not seeing any real screen tearing. I know this is kind of a slow pace where the the frames the screen moves pretty slowly, but it doesn't look too bad. And so far, the only major problem I've noticed with this is, for one, is this this terrible D-pad, and um, and then um, other than that. It's, uh, what do I do here? I'm not even sure what, I think that, um, there's something I should know here that I don't remember, but I think I'm going to end this one right here instead of trying to take the time to figure out what I forgot. Um, and yeah, let's get out of here. And we don't need to save that. That's weird, it just kind of floats up until you until you choose the next one. Let's just check out Jimmy and Bimmy, last one. We're just gonna go, let's just go practice since, well I won't even, oh wait, okay, one player. We don't need all this, all the backs. That's one thing that I remember about Double Dragon, it's kind of a trip how the B button is like your left, you know, like, it, your back kick and then your A button is your forward punch or vice versa, like when when you're facing the other way. See, this, this would have been a good one to have that other controller where it has the BA button for jump. This would have been a, a definitely a, a, I'm gonna have to test that controller again because being that this controller glitched out on it, maybe there's a chance I can get the other one to work again. But I could feel walking. These are the these are the kind of games where a pivot matters to me on a D-pad, other than just like fighting games, because these are like 2.5D um, beat 'em up type games. 
it's hard to move around properly when you don't have a rocker in the central uh, the center of your d-pad it's just like you're pressing all four buttons at once you literally got to lift up your, it's kind of like no better than a Nintendo Joy-Con it's actually worse so I just want to go up there I'm afraid of that guy oh Ooh, what's he doing? Get off of me, dude. Let me down. Jeez. All right, I'm going to have to quit. This is just inappropriate. Come on. All right. We're getting it for that. You too. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get out of there. So that's it. This is the Nintendo Entertainment System, System Classic Mini Bootleg from AliExpress. I'll have the links in the description. I have a link for this too, and if I could figure out how to get this to work, I'll put a pinned comment below just to let you know that it does or doesn't work. Unfortunately, it's seeming like it doesn't, but maybe I'll do another video in the future modding this or this D-pad with, or yeah, putting this D-pad in here or another D-pad that fits with a proper pivot. And I guess that's it for this video. You know, we're just gonna keep it straight up Nintendo Mini. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.